there's always a sense of anticipation mixed with a little bit of apprehension when you turn up to a new location in the dark with absolutely no idea of there's, whether there's anything here to shoot or not. Now I've taken a proper gamble this week. I stuck a pin in the map and went, right, I'll go there. I had a good look on Google around the area that I put the pin and I found this location. And we're a little east coast village. As you can see, tide's coming in. This beach is incredibly soft. It's very pebbly. We've got a north-easterly wind. So theoretically the wind is coming in towards us. But I think it's coming from behind me as I'm walking along the beach. So with a bit of luck, I can shelter the camera quite nicely. It's relatively calm, though we've got, I think it said, 13 mile an hour winds with 26 mile an hour gusts. We are 40 minutes before sunrise and about 30 minutes before high tide. Now the subject that I found to shoot, I have no idea whether we need high tide, low tide, incoming or outgoing. So it's going to be a bit of an adventure. Temperature wise, we're at about two and a half degrees. So I have my Valeray glove on my right hand. I can't put it on my left hand <laughs> because of my uh, wrist brace. I'm trying to shield the mic a little bit because I'm pointing directly into the wind. I'll just try and wedge around here. That might be better, but now I have no idea what the light's like, so I could be a silhouette. I found the object that I want to shoot, the bit that I saw, oh, geese is, the bit that I saw on Google Maps, you may be able to make it out down here. There's a bit of a jetty, a railing, and then a marker boy. Not a marker boy, sorry, a marker pole. High tide is covering the walkway, so this is a good option for an incoming or an outgoing as well as a high tide. I'm after some properly minimal exposures, so I wanted the water covering the walkway. So they look a bit sort of out in the open, not connected to anything. I can see, it looks like hares or something running around in the field at the top. The erosion on this coastline is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Sunrise, ugh, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. There's a thick heavy band of cloud over here there's a, a hint of brownie stuff coming up and in, in between the clouds over here there's sort of a gray then a beigey brown color and then gray and then blank sky because the wind's moving quite well it might blow that cloud across fingers crossed I'm gonna have to be very careful here I'm still on boulders. I'm trying to see what the water's doing, but I think it's going to be a case of set the camera up on the tripod, get my filter set up, and then clamber down onto a flat-ish rock that I've seen at the bottom. That'll get me out of the worst of the breeze, and then I can start shooting without getting covered in water. That's the plan anyway. Let's have a go. It's tricky this one. I'm trying to balance. Oh, hang on a second. I'm not thinking you're in view. That's, that's better. I'm trying to balance the tripod, keep the filters clean, keep an eye on the waves. There's an oofing great 
dredging thing out there. There's a little bit of colour starting up. The sun is just breaking through the horizon. I'm not sure if you're going to make that out. And I'm trying to stop everything falling over in the wind. I'm shooting at F8. I have the 10 stop on. Yeah, I'm just starting to blow the sky. So let me just check this a second. 141, uh, 124. So I'm just going to set that off again. I'm going to... I'm at about 100 seconds. I'm using a different camera for my video today. So it's a bit of a trial and error, see what happens. The nice thing about this place, oh, there's some lovely colour coming up there, is I can stay here a little bit longer, even if the light gets a bit harsh, to do some long exposures. Because I want the tide going out as well to reveal the concrete walkway. <coughs> It's a random place. I wonder if it used to be a um, a jetty for boats landing or something. It's very strange. There's just a little bit of cloud catching up there. I'm so I'm sticking with the ten stop. I might stick the five, the six stop in on a second. We're at ISO 100. We are at, as I say, about f8, hundred odd seconds. White balance. I've changed to ten thousand because I might keep this colour. We've got the really nice aquamarine colour coming out in the water. Oh, and every now and then I get a wave, a wave, a wave, a rogue wave coming up. I'm just trying to see where I put my filters. Oh, they're over there. That's OK. I've been moving everything around, trying to make sure I keep everything in sight. There's a little bit of colour coming up on that cloud over there. That should be about done. Yes. Getting a bit of movement in the water. There's only one irritating thing. Just a second. Let me see if I can do this. Right, you should be able to make out the marker post. And no matter how low I get my camera, because I'm quite high back up the rocks, I cannot get that position right. So I'm going to have to live with it as it is. It's just breaking the horizon. About three quarters of it is coming through the horizon line. I could pull the camera up. However... That's going to leave it more open to the wind. And as it stands at the moment, I'm quite nicely sheltered. Let's see if we can pull an image up. Quite like that. Yes. That beautiful water. The things we do to get an image. Oh, excuse me. I'll just pop that in there. The sun, as you can see, is now well risen. Oh, I just poked my hand in front of an exposure. That wasn't the best thing to do, was it? I'm standing at the side of the camera to try and shield it a little bit from the breeze because I'm shooting higher up to try and get the marker post underneath the horizon line. I'm fighting a losing battle here. I'm just getting covered in spray the whole time. There's some amazing uh, bird formations out there. Ooh. They're sweeping across. The, you'll not see it if I turn you around. They're just sweeping across the top of the water. Let's see if I actually manage to get a shot there, shall we? Look at that. Yeah, that's a little bit too long on the exposure. We are, or we were, at 30 seconds. And now I can't see. Let's try that. Oh, I'm having to shoot, check, clean filters. And it's a little bit chilly as well. But I think, because that sun has now broken through, I'm going to wind it up here. There is just no point in carrying on. There's no cloud cover. And this tide that was high about half an hour ago doesn't seem to be packing in. Let's have a look at that one. Yeah, I can live with that. Right, I'm going to oh, extract myself from the strange position and take a wander back along the beach and see if I can see anything actually down on the beach that we could shoot. Well, as you can see, I haven't gone anywhere else. As I walked back across the tops, the wind was picking up something wicked. There's no cloud in the sky. I had a look down on the beach. Few rocks, but a very pebbly beach, but not a nice um, constant layer of pebbles. They were just dotted around. So it didn't look particularly pretty. And I made the judgment that no cloud, high winds, bright sun, I'd call it a day. 
when I'd looked on Google Maps at this place, I saw, I saw a car park, because there was a car park in it, sort of gives you a clue. When I turned up, it was full of mobile homes. Now, it could be that it wasn't a car park and that's their property because there's a mobile home holiday car park on the other side of the road. Um, so I probably parked where I shouldn't have done. Hopefully I won't get a ticket. Um, and I decided, let's get out of here before, before anybody wakes up and sees that I'm here. It was about eight o'clock as I wandered back. Sunrise was, ooh, 20 to, 20 to seven, I think. So I've had a good morning. <laughs> it was definitely one of those where you take the photo, clean the filters, take the photo, clean the filters. I'm sure I've got some spots on some of the images. Photoshop should clean that up with the clone tool, so I'm not too concerned. I think these will stay colour because the light was beautifully soft initially and we'd got that gorgeous aquamarine colour that you get in the mornings. So yes, bit of a short and sweet one this one. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little look around the coast. Another little unusual spot. I've now found a lay-by. I'm porridge is on, cup of tea is brewing, and then I'm going to end my way home. It's only about an hour and a half from home, so it's quite easy. So thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoy the images. Fingers crossed they've turned out. And I'll see you again next weekend. Bye for now. <laughs>